Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Not only is the calendar turning towards summer, but so is the content on this game of FC24 with the rumors swirling of an upgrade SBC coming today that really signals that summer type of silly season content. It's also potentially going to solve our problem of the last week of this game with really not a lot of fodder to go around in the craftability of the menus. I want to talk about that, all the make your mark cards and a big day of Copa America and Euros games today and other content that you should expect to see on this game and how it's going to impact the market. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, we have a lot of content to go over, as always, since yesterday was a promo Friday. Let's get through that pretty quickly by starting with the objective section. Guys, we have a daily login SBC. I don't know. When I think of good promos and big promos, daily logins are a part of it. And I like one massive thing about this, and that is the final group reward in 83 times 20 like i know that's an 83 rated which is a bit low for like a guaranteed fodder pack but that's a lot of fodder that a lot of us really really need so i'm excited to have that during the week this week we always love a daily login it's one bronze player every single day and we only have to do it five times so that is very nice as well it's out for a week get it done don't forget we also have a new festival of football cup which is the second iteration of the same cup basically that was dropped before all you have to do is play in this cup mode which actually you know what i never even checked it yesterday is it any different from the, the cup that was there before it is a 95 overall team one one loan and you have to have two festival football or showdown players sweet another easy cup if you want to choose to grind that for some pretty easy packs really not a whole lot to complain about there i guess the best pack is the one at the end for an 87 times two how many games do you have to win 12 games to win that cup all right that's a little bit of work but not super crazy and pretty easy to do right probably could just use your main team and then we have mojica live card um colombian item here 99 pace five star four star high low work it's for a left back kind of an interesting card has some decent play styles um and a couple of playstyle pluses that look pretty good as well so that's kind of a free card there and some xp is hidden in there as well that was all the objective content yesterday again not bad we love the daily login right an 81 double every single day as well for that but that's kind of objectives not a whole lot but worth mentioning of course those few things there now let's go to evolutions and talk about what is inside of here because this one is yet again another, I don't know, I'm going to call these W's. I like these Defender, I like the Academy Evolutions, guys. And yesterday, I think, was the best player selection out of all of the um, attacker, midfielder, and defenders that they have released for Evos. This Harry Maguire would have been really nice last weekend with the English Weekend League objective. Every single defensive play style, it gives out pinged pass, it gives out intercept plus, it gives out, I think, bruiser or slide tackle, one of the two, and then anticipate regular as well. That's a nice card. 99 physical, 96 defending, and uh, high, high work rate, six foot four Harry Maguire. That one's really, really nice. A lot of people were going ahead and doing that one. There was one for me that looked really, really sick. Oh, I remember it now. If you actually go on Footman and take a look, you might be like, Nate, Klosterman wasn't dropped yesterday. Well, EA... Evidently, if you do the German for Glory free evolution, the car design that EA gives for that is the same Festival Football Academy car design um, for an Evo. So you can actually double Evo a select few number of players. Klosterman is one of them. And that card looks kind of crazy. Sure, low medium work rates is not it. But statistically, 97 pace, 97 defending, 94 physical. That does look pretty crazy. Uh, just so that you can, maybe if there's a card in your club that is a German that fits, maybe you could do some sort of double Evo combination, even if it's a little bit of a lower rated player. That's just something I wanted to shout out because Klosterman is not one of the seven cards they dropped yesterday, yet you can still fit him into the Evo. Probably that Harry Maguire is the most popular one. This Quadrado from the Copa upgrade Looks really, really good as well. The Serginho Dest looks pretty good. The Juan Foyth, a lot of people are using, of course, um, for the Argentine Weekend League Challenge this weekend. A, a nice defender there. But 5-star, 4-star, Quadrado with 99 pace, 98 dribbling, intercept, whip pass, and the Bruiser Plus. Um, again, with the regular play styles added, Anticipate is so massive, right? Really like that card. I'm probably going to go ahead and do Dest, although I have Dest Tots. So I'm kind of like, why couldn't we have somebody else in here as an American? But you know, it is what it is. And then another one that's really interesting here is Casemiro. If any of you guys didn't do Casemiro in the midfield, he doesn't have a ton of play styles, but 99 defending, medium high work rates. Like this could be a really nice center back if you move him there in game. Maxed stand tackle, defensive awareness, composure, reactions, uh, aggression, shot, 
sorry, short pass, long pass, shot power. Like, that's kind of a nuts card, too. So, honestly, good options from the Copa and the Euro, both Defender Evos. And even some of the midfielders that fit into this uh, Defender Evo look kind of interesting. I think this um, Stiller card from Germany looks at least usable, too, right? Yeah, definitely usable. 97 passing, 96 defending with those play styles. Not a whole lot, but, you know, usable for sure. So, I have no problems with those evolutions at all. I like that it's just a few games to get done as well. So if that interests you at all, player from your favorite team, favorite uh, nation, go ahead and get it done. No complaints. Overall, since that is the last of the Academy for uh, the Make Your Marks, kind of the Festival Football Academy, sort of, you know, Euro and Copa America stuff going on here. Not bad. I think that Olise was definitely the top one. I, I haven't got this one done. Of course, yesterday, the big news, Olise to Bayern, right? That was probably one of the top ones that people had done. The James Madison attacker Evo is really good for me personally. So yeah, I liked that it. it was no frills, good playstyle pluses, and not a lot of games. So overall, those Academy Evos were nice. They were pretty solid. And I liked the kind of the whole thought process behind them as well. Now let's go to SBCs because this is really what kind of saved content yesterday, if we're being completely honest. It was this SBC right here. Darwin Nunez, right? Five-star weak foot, but he only has four-star skills. I was really hoping he would have 5-5. Five, five. I would have even accepted like a million coin price tag on this SBC card if he was 5-5, five, because five, that would be such a big boost that would make his card so unique. A lot of cards right now, man, they just do not want to give out the five-star, five-star. But this SBC is coming in at about 500 and 55,000 coins according to Footbin, 575 right now, which honestly, if this card was on the market as a make your mark, he would probably be this much or more. So I think honestly, it is a good value SBC for the card that you are getting. There might be a little bit of prem tax in there. Some people are arguing that it is too much. But again, I think also our, our minds of SBC value and comparing prices right now are a little bit skewed because we're coming off of a week where like, yeah, this SBC would be really difficult to do with only 86 doubles and the 81 plus player picks that really do not give out a lot of fodder. So the card itself though, rapid finesse, power shot and press proven like the the finesse and the uh, power shot and the press proven are giving me flashbacks at least the press proven is at least to the Hyunmin Sun Taz card and that was very very OP so he's got good regular play styles as well four or five great individual stats and of course the potential for the upgrades right Uruguay everybody was believing in Uruguay for the Araujo I think people are believing in Darwin Nunez himself for Uruguay he's been playing very good for them at least into the friendlies leading up into this so very possible he could get two goals or assists of course he's going to play so that added chemistry will be you know nice and expected and then five appearances I think that's expected as well as Uruguay have a really good chance to do well in the Copa America so this might be the best SBC of this week of make your mark to be completely honest so you know it's two uh, not two it's four very high rated squads five actually 90 89 89 87 and then an 88 couple of team of the season team of the week pl uh, players required there too so in my opinion it is a good SBC to complete. I will be putting him in the team. And also I haven't used a Darwin special card this year. So very excited for that one. A little bit of a craft taking a little bit of work, but hopefully the SBC that comes today, our upgrade pack that we're expecting could help with that craft. Now we had two other player SBCs yesterday with the showdowns that have been dropping pretty much every Friday. We had Malinowski. It's Ukraine versus Belgium. Ukraine versus Belgium here for the upcoming Euros matchup. Malinovsky with the shush, right? He's got press proven. He's got technical and he's got incisive. Good card there. Solid card there. And then Onana from Everton with intercept, bruiser, and incisive force or five-star high high. He can't play center back, but I mean like 6-4. Can you imagine him in this game just from a meta perspective as a center back? I think he'd be pretty good. Anyways, he's got good play styles, decent play style pluses. But for me, if these cards, I mean, they are cheap. They're only like 70,000 coins for Onana and 59,000 coins for Malinovsky. But for me, they're not making the team. So if you have some affinity with Malinovsky or Ukraine or same thing with Onana, get the SBC done. I like good cheap showdowns for sure. Um, we The Rabio right, got upgraded plus one for the kind of uh, stalemate match yesterday between Netherlands and France. So plus ones or plus twos on the line here. I guess that plus one for the draw is kind of a good reminder that both cards could potentially be upgraded. So that was dropped yesterday. A couple of other loose ends to tie up. We had the 79 times three best of nations upgrade, which compared to the 81 plus player pick one of four, I still think that's worth it to do. You're turning in 11 players for this still. I mean, yeah, you do get to take three home. It is from the best of nations, but 
I don't know, maybe try a couple of those, see if you hit anything, but I think the 81 plus player pick still might be the way to go for that. And then of course we do have the daily login and then a daily make your mark challenge for a tr uh, untradeable rare mega pack. So that's there, but of course the daily login is the best out of those upgrade SBCs for right now. Now let's go talk about the team that was dropped in packs yesterday. Honestly, it was a little bit of a snooze fest yesterday. I think the Euros hype is definitely taking over and these cards just continue to not necessarily live up to the hype as much as we really want them to. And part of it does have to do with the pack weight, guys, just being completely honest. Now, there are some good cards in here, some very good statistically boosted cards. This Joao Neves, I mean, nice card. Great play style pluses. He doesn't have four, but he has three very good ones, and he's got a lot of other really good play styles as well. I was a nice fan. I'm a big fan of that nice upgrade to his card. Danny Carvajal, very expensive, but technically, if you think about it, he already has that first plus one overall upgrade because, of course, two clean sheets, and he appeared in both games. Florian Verts is basically extinct. His max price is 4.8. He's 4.7. This card is 5.5. Five. He's got power shot, incisive, technical, acrobatic. Seems kind of be the, you know, I don't know, the unnecessary one added there. But his other play styles are very, very good. Also already has one assist or one goal. I forget if it was a goal or assist. But he's got two appearances, headed for a third soon. And he's already got one tally towards another plus one overall there. Trent Alexander-Arnold did get a card. And uh, only three play style pluses. He can play center mid, but his base position is a right back. So he will upgrade for England based off of clean sheets. And they do have one. So he's already on the way to a 96 overall upgrade there for Trent Alexander-Arnold. But, you know, like Hoyland, a lot of people are going crazy about this Hoyland card. I love that he's 5'5". Five five. I love that. But here's my issue. He only has eight playstyles in total. And there was a couple different cards that were dropped yesterday that I was kind of underwhelmed at the upgrades that EA gave them. Four playstyle pluses is very nice. Sure, right? Especially finesse, power shot, rapid. Chip shot, it is what it is. He's 5'5". Five five. Like, almost nobody else in the team besides Verts is 5'5", five five, but he only has technical flair, first touch, and quick step um, as a part of that. How many playstyles did, like, this Future Stars version have? This one also had eight. They basically just gave these two as playstyle pluses and then kept the same ones. Like, at this stage of the game, only having four regular playstyles and four playstyle pluses, it's maybe a little thing, and maybe you guys don't care about that, but, like... That's why I like the Joao Neves card because he actually got a good number of playstyle regulars uh, given to his card for the upgrade as well. So it's the little things like that that I think disappoint us with some of the cards that were dropped. This De Catalera card, it looks really solid as well. And once again, he's somebody who has plenty of playstyles. You absolutely love that. That helps, of course, for the meta in game and how well they're used. Uh, power shot, incisive, and aerial. I don't know if he's going to play. Um, of course, you have games upcoming. Uh, literally today for De Catalera. So that's something to watch out for with these cards. But of course, it all comes down to who is playing. And then, of course, when you look at the Copa cards too, we haven't even looked at any of those. Jonathan David, I think, looks pretty solid. Again, lacking some of the play styles though. He only has eight, but he does have finesse. Musa looks pretty solid for a USA team. He got four play style pluses. One of those being Trickster though, kind of mid. And then Rodrigo, they gave him Trickster as well for that fourth play style plus. But again, he's only... Five star, four star, not five five. And there's a whole lot of fodder. Some nice cards like Rinders. This is a really good budget beast. Again, not very many playstyles, but five star, four star, almost club 90. Tiki Taka, Incisive, and Trivella for 27,000 coins. I know a lot of people have been wanting to use a special card for him. Terstegen got a card, 107,000 coins. Um, what are his reactions? 85 reactions, which did, did they upgrade off that off of this? No, they didn't. So still 85 reactions for Terstegen. Don't know why I checked that because they never upgrade reactions, but it is what it is. And again, the, the problem mostly with these cards too is the pack weight seems to be mid it seems to be kind of low um not just because the cards are kind of rare on the market but it also seems that they started off very expensive yesterday like trent and hoyland were both around extinct prices at 1.5 million coins uh for a number of hours honestly before dropping down later into the evening and they need to drop down further because especially for these guys now we are what two games and almost getting into the third games of the group stages of the euros where some of these cards are going to be eliminated from the competition Competition, and some of these guys are not going to be able to upgrade anymore, which is going to hurt the prices of these live cards. And I think, sure, as we take a look back, and we'll probably talk about this later in the week too, but this whole promo, the idea was great. The whole idea of like a future stars that was players who had never played in the Euros before, although EA messed up with Doku, he's 
definitely played in the Euros before last time around. Um, the whole idea is dope, and we like the upgrades, but, um, you know, a lot of the upgrades just don't seem to be hitting with these players. I think they maybe chose a little bit too difficult of an upgrade path. Maybe it's going to take another week or so, and we'll see how many more players can actually hit those boosts and stuff like that. But uh, maybe it's just the pack away too for the make your mark cards, because we keep saying, and we went back to it yesterday, that the path to glory cards seems so clear. And that's why you look at my cards that I bought here. I bought a Benton Court on a bid. I was active looking at, get yet again, the PTG cards on the market yesterday, because those are the ones that have the most intrigue, the most potential potential for upgrades in the ones that people want to buy, right? I bought three Benton cores on bid. I picked up two Julian Alvarez. He was tanking yesterday, right? Julian Alvarez got the plus one, as did the Argentinian cards. Something to note, right? We get the regular upgrades kind of late night from the Euros games. EA did that again. We'll talk about that in a second. But the Copa America upgrades happen early the next morning. So that happened for Alvarez, DePaul, and others, and even Crespo. And uh, with that upgrade, Alvarez dropped off a bunch from price. Let me find his card here really fast and show you the graph. Um, but I knew this Alvarez was going to go back up because this is, again, one of the most hyped Argentinian cards. So yesterday, boom, right here, 860, 850, got upgraded. Or sorry, yes, he got upgraded. People started selling, right? And then Darwin Nunez came out of the content drop and he dropped even more. We were able to pick some up right around 700,000 coins here and he's been going up ever since. You would expect him to upgrade uh, or you know, stay up in price until his next potential upgrade and win as I think Argentina play on Tuesday of this upcoming week. Same thing with Kyle Walker. I just logged on a little bit ago to see that Kyle Walker was down at 1.1 million coins after he was like 1.3 yesterday. Crazy drop off for him in the late night hours. So I picked one up at 1.1. He's already starting to go back up. But again, I'm just saying this because the PTG cards still have so much more hype than the other make your mark cards do and that's just kind of the, the fact of the matter and that's why partially i think yesterday's content was just kind of so so now let's talk about the upgrades that ea gave the cards that were deserving because ea told me something i asked the question guys i'll be completely honest we were wondering earlier in the week would players who didn't see the pitch for their specific teams get upgrades if there was a clean sheet but they did not play and i was told directly from EA when I messaged that um, players would not get upgraded if they did not play in that game for clean sheets specifically, since I didn't see that on EA's website or anywhere else, else uh, specified, right? However, on this latest set of upgrades, they have boosted Ferland Mendy and Konate, neither of which, unless I missed it yesterday, have even seen them pitch for France in their first two games. So I'm not entirely sure why they got upgraded, right? Sure, many, his upgrade is deserved. He started yesterday, he played, he's back from injury, he's got the chemistry boost. These guys, they actually don't even have the chemistry boost, which is crazy. Um, but they have the upgrade. If you take a look at Konate, he got plus one everywhere except plus two defensive awareness, plus four stamina plus two vision, plus two crossing. And after he got the upgrade, he went from 1.5 mil up to 1.8 mil where he is right now. Of course, uh, Ferland Mendy, I believe, is extinct on the market where he was at 1.9 million coins. Actually, I might need to check him because I don't know if EA updated his price range or not, but uh, he got a plus one as well. And again, he has not seen the pitch. So I don't know how he's, again, according to EA's rules, getting this upgrade. Yeah, he is still extinct on the market at the moment. So um, that's the situation there. Again, I was told by them that uh, you had to see the pitch. Evidently, you didn't have to. I don't know. So that's something that we noticed yesterday. Sabitzer, Limer, Tsangov, and Dudek all got stat upgrades yesterday as well. I just tried out the Sabitzer card because I was like, you know what? This this guy looks cracked. I want to give him a go. So I kind of just chucked him in the team with End of an Era Royce and Javi Simons. Ignore the red card there. Um, and he was really good. He was honestly really good with intercept and anticipate plus and the incisive pass. And then also some of his long balls were really nice too. I did not try a power shot with him, but... Yeah, he was a really good midfielder. So that's a card. I love that with the, uh, especially the Dortmund links there to the Royce that was always hard for me to link. So those are kind of the upgrades right there, to be honest. Nothing super crazy except for the Konate and the Ferlin Mendy, which again, seem kind of quote unquote useless. Make your mark cards because they have not played yet, but I guess they're still getting upgrades. So they're not 
super useless. Now, when we look ahead to games today, guess what? We're looking at prices rising already. How much is this Kavicha? 440,000 coins. Sell it in the hype, man. These are still the best cards to trade with. That's why you see me buying the Alvarez and again, the Kyle Walker because the PTGs have the hype. But Georgia plays Czech Republic early today. Uh, that is, of course, Nedved going on, uh, you know, risk here for a few more goals and hopefully a win for them as well for the other upgrades for patrick schick if you have that one turkey right we're all artigula all turkey uh for a goal or an assist today they don't have to win all artigula has to do is score we would love that and then of course that's against ronaldo's portugal with rafa leao ruben diaz and some of these other cards like bernardo silva and of course the nuno men that very few people are playing for but some are and the joao neves i actually picked up a joao neves at 230 because i was like you know what he actually might go up a little bit today and and then the late game is Belgium against Romania. Belgium cards yesterday, like Lukaku and Trossard. Lukaku was a very good investment. Um, if you saw this card yesterday, he's 939. He was actually 970. I bet he peaks at probably close to a million coins before the game starts today. He was all the way down at 895. And if he goes up to a million coins today, that is good money. I think Trossard as well. is starting to rebound. He was somewhere down uh, at like 930. Ooh, 930 again? say more he yeah that's kind of low for him he goes up to a million coins because that's the types of cards once again that are the best flips in this game now also i want to put this out there because it's going to happen soon these okay the 930 is not there he's actually like 990 right Ex expected but these cards are due for some market correction soon but until we have something content wise to challenge these cards these cards are the best in the game at the moment and they're live and upgrading nothing comes close to them so they're going to maintain their really stupid prices and their really high prices and they're going to be really good to trade with still until something challenges those cards now let's talk about content today we alluded to it in the beginning of the video it's not even been tweeted out but there's there's some rumors swirling guys and you know what it's probably going to come true because the same thing's been happening recently these rumors start swirling we get these leaks and then they come true. They happen. So what is the leak? What are we talking about? Well, Saturdays always bring us upgrade SBC packs, right? And we've been looking forward to today. At least I have because get this 86 times two out of my face because every single time that this has been dropped, it has done nothing but be the worst upgrade pack um, out of all. Even the 84 times seven that we had, the 85 times five, which we all wanted back and didn't get, this one just is not it. However, it's coded. We're going to stick that up there in the brain and just remember that for next year's game, for the summer to come, 86 doubles. Yeah, no thanks. But the SBC that is rumored to replace it today would literally be the best upgrade, multiple times repeatable upgrade pack we have had of the year. And it's kind of a sign that EA is starting to open the door a little bit in that summer content. And this is the SBC right here. We also got it around the same time last year. So it kind of makes sense. It's the 84 times 10. I mean, we just had an 84 times seven a couple of weeks ago and an 85 times five. Let's step it up. It's mid to late June now. Let's step it up for an 84 times 10. Basically, the reason why this gets me a little bit excited too is this is like you start thinking about the 85 times 10. And if you know anything about the 85 times 10, that's kind of like the summer upgrade pack SBC. Unlimited 85 times 10 grind. Mm the best. Now, 84 times 10 is, again, almost there. This one last year, EA was all over the place last year with their SBC requirements. It's not going to be like this. Last year for the first 84 10 that was dropped, it was an 86 squad with three 87 rateds that you had to put in this. They're not going to do that. No shot. And 84 times 10 should probably be a team of the season or team of the week required with an 84 or an 85 rated squad. An 84 rated squad sounds a little bit too cheap, in my opinion, for how EA would want it to be, but hopefully it's an 85 rated squad with a team of the or team of the season, and I think that would be doable, especially because 85s are what? Like 5K? Oh yeah, they're dropping now, even better. 4,000 coins for 85s? Mm, that would be great. For an 84 times 10, those packs would be walkouts galore, double walkouts galore, and hopefully a good chance at packing some of the promo cards as well, and at least having an opportunity to even pack some of the cards like Joao Neves, De Catalera, you know, even for Tessie looks like an okay card for 60,000 coins. Like it would just feel like you have a chance, kind of like giving us those PTG vibes again, where it was semi worth opening packs and grinding the game. Not semi worth, fully worth, because that was a really good grind. So that's very hype. I think if you need some fodder, 
I think I would go and stock your club on the 85s because, I mean, 85s are what? 4,000 coins. What did they do last week, right? 85s went down and the lowest that they went was 4K. Like the lowest that 85s have been in the past two weeks has been 4K. I, I was buying 85s for 6,000 coins yesterday. And look, yeah, you can see they were 6,000 coins. So 4K for these, I think you want to try to get a little bit less than that on bid if you can. I think that's a great investment price. And then for the 84s, I think these uh, under the 2K range would be pretty good as well. This is definitely inflated for them. They were 1.5. So maybe 1.7 would be the best price for the 84s. But I think the 85s and the 84s would be the best place to be stocking up on and maybe an occasional 86 as well these are not down as much but um these go as high as 7,000 coins 5.5 is their lowest so try to get these under five but i think it's the 85s that'll be the big ticket item and then i think even people yesterday you saw on the market again with these rumors starting to swirl the team of the week cards were starting to go up a little bit as well uh, i think they were 30,000 coins and they're up a little bit they're 35k now so if this were to come out, again, we don't buy Team Leaks off the market to be the most efficient way. Just go do the actual Team of the Week SBC for a cheaper price. Even if you have to spend coins on it, it's cheaper to buy the cards to do this than it is to go and buy a Team Leak off the market. But that is kind of there as well. Make sure your club is prepared with a few Team of the Weeks. But hopefully that SBC just allows us to craft. Because even myself, I look at the player SBCs from this last week. Like, I want to do Nunez, but I didn't touch Garnacho. One, because I knew he wasn't going to get upgrades right away. And two, um, the craftability of the menus was not the best, right? I got to do Tim Wea still. I wouldn't mind doing Posh. I wouldn't mind stocking Bonucci in the club because that's kind of an emotional SBC. But I felt myself doing less SBCs last week because the menu ground and the menu craft was not so good. Hopefully the 84 times 10 changes that. Now, also Saturday content, right? The weekends are when they've been hitting the biggest and the best player SBCs. And it was so nice of the leakers yesterday to post a graphic with all of the players that have been leaked as SBCs or objectives in one picture. How nice of them to be neat and organized like this. So, of course, Darwin Nunez, we already saw him. Mojica, Mojica the left back, already saw him, right? So it's these, how many is that? Seven players? That's a lot of players to be coming out as SBC or objective. We'll see if we get all of them. Soboslai, I think, kind of has to be the guy for today, right? Because Hungary play again on Sunday. They are the first game of round three. It's Scotland, Hungary. So technically, you would think that Soboslai would have to be in the game, and it's not looking good for them anyway with their where they're at, the matchup that they have. But if they're going to drop a Soboslai, it might be today. It might be back-to-back -back Liverpool player SBCs, back-to-back -back days, which, again, with Konate and Trent Alexander-Arnold in this promo, it's kind of like a Liverpool promo almost. But I digress. That could be a nice SBC Depending on the stats, depending on the upgrade, four play style pluses, maybe we'll have to see. There's also a lot of Copa America in these leagues, which makes sense, right? Because Copa America is just getting started. And of course, the Euros promo has been going on now for a week. But we have got Gabrielle and Monziel. Those are probably the most top two hyped out of this list of players. Sinistera and Pacho could be good too. And even Damari Gray. But Montiel and Gabriel, right? This Gabriel could make some waves for Brazilian cards. I know we've had a lot of center backs recently and a lot of very good ones. But he could be very good, especially the Brazil links hype for the potential to do well in Copa America with the upgrades too. So we're watching out for that card and for Montiel. Maybe he's a little bit cheaper, but a upgrading Argentine card that would already have at least the chemistry boost, right? Actually, did he play? I don't know. I have to go check and see if he played uh, in the last Argentina game because it's all about, again, playing for these cards. But those are the upgrade SBCs and the player SBCs to be coming. Other things to mention, there is another upgrade pack to mention. The 84.7 is giving way to the 85.7, right? The 79.3 came yesterday. I think the 85.7 comes today. But one thing to mention is they changed up the nations. It's Belgium, France, Germany, England, or Brazil. So you actually, I like having actually Belgium in here because you have the chance at Doku and De Ketelera from this pack. You've got France, so you've got Konate Mendy, you've got Germany, so you've got Ter Stegen. And I think that's it. You've got England. So you've got who's in the English card? Trent. And you've got Brazil. So you've got Rodrigo. So yeah, there's that. No Argentina inside of this one, but it's an 85 plus times seven. So plenty of opportunities for fodder from those spe specific nations. Oh, I forgot about Verts from Germany. Yeah. So 
that would be a decent pack, probably a little more expensive, probably only one times repeatable, but that should be dropping today as well. And then maybe another showdown, who knows? Uh, they've been kind of, you know, loading up the showdowns for these games as well. Maybe a Copa related showdown for a game coming up this week. We'll have to see about that. Or maybe they'll try to drop another Euro showdown for one of those round three games upcoming that kind of has a big matchup implications for like Croatia, Italy. I know they already did a Croatia showdown. Uh, for Vlasic, but that could be one with, with some big implications for the group there. So, you know, a whole lot of opportunity for those as always. And uh, yeah, I guess today's big games, selling the hype. That was one thing that we learned from the games yesterday as well, from the uh, France game, selling in the hype. Like, I still have a petite. I didn't sell in the hype. I didn't heed my own advice. And petite went from 650,000 coins all the way back down to where I bought him last week at 550k. I think right now he's closing in at about 590 again. 580? Okay, still some undercuts at 560. I'm just going to hold on to my petite because he's the same price. But since they didn't score any goals yesterday, bro didn't move. Bro didn't get upgraded. So I'm just going to hold on to that. But selling in the hype is always, always, always the play. And let's see, do I have any live cards that play today? You know, Walker Alvarez, we're going to hold. DeMarco, you know, Bentancourt, you know, yeah, most of the stuff I'm going to hold because they don't play today. So yeah, that's kind of the state of my club right now. I have a lot of coins invested, but again, I'm mostly invested in the live and upgrading the best of the live and upgrading cards, the PTGs. I did buy DeMarco because I was like, man, this guy is rare and uh, he's up about 30K, 40K. I bought him for 428. He's like 460. I bought a Jan Quoto for the potential Gabrielle SBC, but it looks like he's just chilling. He's still like 520,000 coins. So something's going up. Something's a little stable. Again, they're live cards. They're going to move. And the new ones will be good to trade with too. So if you get those fluctuations timed right, that's why I'm watching a Hoyland at the moment. He was down at like 970. He still is. But like this guy, people might wake up today and be like, oh my goodness, 5'5 five, five Hoyland. I want to try him out. He could go up to 1.1 mil, but then I would expect most of these cards to drop down during the day, except for the ones that have games. That's the caveat. Watch out for the ones that have games like Juan Neves and the Catalera because they could move. But that's the video for today, guys. Happy Saturday. Hope your foot champs is going well. I mean, hey, I'm praying for you if you're doing the Argentina objective because, man, I, don't, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. That objective, playing champs with the Argentina squad, even after they gave out fourth defender yesterday. Mm-mm. Last week with England was hard enough. That's got to be really tough this week. But if you really want Nuno Menge, best of luck to you there. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching the videos on the channel as always. Hope you have a great day today. Enjoy the big day of football. What is there, like five games today with three Copa, two Copa America games and three Euros? Big day of football. It's going to be great. Enjoy it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the account. See you there. Peace. Out.